YouTube, what's going on? It's Uncle Tone 99. It's Tony. How you guys doing? How you doing? How's it going? How you doing? Cool beans. Today we're gonna have to be taking a look at the iHome IP9. I have already unboxed this. If you haven't seen my unboxing, go check it out after you watch this one. Not right now. After you watch this one. First, I'm going to go over what's included with it. I already did that in the unboxing, but I'll go over it real quick for you guys, show you what's included with it, and then we'll get into the review. All right, so included with it, you do get the dock adapters, which I haven't actually even opened. You get one for the iPod Nano, one for the iPod Touch, and one for the iPhone 3G and 3GS. So you get three dock adapters. Um, you also get this funky-looking rectangle thing with a big hole in it. This is your... AM antenna that goes on this stand right here like so and then plugs into the back of the unit that is your AM radio antenna the FM radio antenna is actually built into the back of the unit comes out right here and that is your FM radio antenna also on the back of the unit you have the DST switch which is for daylight savings time there's where you plug in your AM radio um, here you have it a line in jack and then your clock set and your time zone setting. Um, this sets a time automatically by itself. I have no idea how it does it, uh, but it does. Very cool. Um, it has some batteries in it. It also does come with batteries in it, so maybe it's the clock is set from the factory and the batteries just keep track of it well, you know, up until you buy it. I'm assuming that's probably how they did it. Um, sets the time all by itself. All you gotta do is flick the daylight savings time switch on or off for 1 p.m. or 2 p.m. We're on daylight savings time right now, so add one hour, 2.57. Time goes back in the fall, flick the switch. Bang, you're back one hour. Sp spring ahead. Oh, it's spring! 2.58, there you go. Cool beans. So these are basically, uh, I didn't go over everything else that's included in the box yet. Come on, Tone, let's try and keep up here, right? Included also is your little booklet, as well as they do have an iHome Plus Sleep app for the iPhone, which I will show you guys in a minute. And then you get a cool iHome sticker. Stickers are cool. Who doesn't like stickers, right? As well as your manuals. Here is the piece of paper your remote comes attached to. And here's the remote. Very cool. That's everything that's included with it. Um, real quick, I'll show you guys the iHome Plus Sleep app, which is right here. It might not show up real well on my camera, though, because I don't have the uh, stuff turned down. So here you go. Um, you can set, basically, you can use this and set sleep cards, uh, which are basically alarm cards. Um, then you can activate. When you go to bed, simply set this on the dock, slide this over to sleep, and it will load your Twitter feed as well as your Facebook feed overnight for you if you choose to. Wake up. And there's your Twitter feed and your overnight news feed. Very cool. So, um, yeah, really neat little app. Um, I was having fun playing with that. It's got the weather along the top there for you. You can set that for your region. Very awesome. Very cool little app that works in conjunction with the iHome. It is really quite cool. Onwards to the iHome. Um, this thing is pretty darn cool. I'll tell you right now. Pop your iPhone on there. Bang, you're charging. Power it up. Turn on the iPod. Playing some music. I'm gonna try not to violate YouTube copyright law here, but I'll give you guys an idea how loud it goes. It's pretty loud. So, there you go. Um, also, it sounds pretty darn good. Uh, I'll be honest with you, it's probably the best sounding alarm clock radio I've ever heard. It does have these holes in the back for the bass to come out of. So, you know, you got the speaker in the front, the bass is coming out the holes in the back there. If you turn it up real loud and cover them with your fingers, you can actually feel the air being pushed out of there. So, that is pretty cool. So your AM and FM radio. These are your three buttons for your presets. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six presets. Um, as well as your equalizer. Um, your first one and two alarms. You can set up two alarms. Your sleep function. 
radio button to turn the radio on, your snooze bar as w is also doubles as your dimmer switch. And it goes from really, really bright, which my camera's not picking up really well, right down to very dim. Um, this is really dim. My camera is making this appear a little bit brighter than it actually is, but it's quite dim. Um, so there you go. That's pretty much it, guys. There's really not a whole lot involved here. Um, the remote works fine for skipping through your tracks, volume up and down, all that sort of stuff, flicking to radio, flicking back to iPod, whatever you may want to do with it. The remote works awesome. Um, onwards to the one problem I had with this, which is actually a serious enough problem that I'm probably, well, I will be, returning this to Walmart where I purchased it. I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to exchange it yet or just get a refund. Right now, I'm thinking about just getting a refund and going back to my regular alarm clock and my GigaWare dual dock. That's, what, that's the setup I've been using for a while it was my GigaWare dual dock and just a regular basic alarm clock. That's worked pretty well for me up until now. So, the one problem I had is this thing buzzes when I put my iPhone on it. Not just my iPhone, I also tested my sister-in-law's fiance, uh, my sister, my sister's fiance's iPhone. I'm sorry, I can't talk today, guys. And um, it also does the same thing with his. So I'm thinking I got a defective unit here. I did email iHome and uh, took them four days to get back to me, which I thought was a little long and kind of unacceptable. I mean, what kind of customer support is that when it takes you four days to get back to somebody who's having an issue with your product? Um, four days seems like a really long time. Would have been nice to see something back within a day or two. But there you go. So basically, you take this, set it on here, and immediately I can hear a buzzing noise, even when it's turned off. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up or not, but I'll try. Hopefully the camera's picking that up. And then as soon as I take the phone off, the buzzing stops. Um, hopefully the camera picked that up. I don't know. Um, it's not really, really loud. It's almost unnoticeable during the day with all the ambient noise in the background. Um, people outside, your normal household noises, that sort of thing. But at night when it's really, really quiet, it's, it sounds really loud. Um, it drives me nuts, especially this thing's on my bedside table, and my head's like two, three feet away from it. Um, I had to—I only used this for one or two nights to charge my iPhone, and I had the second night I had to take it off and just set my phone on the table beside it so I could go to sleep because the buzzing noise was driving me insane. Those of you who follow me on Twitter will know I was complaining about it. Um, it was an issue for me. It's loud enough at night that it bothers me enough that I can't sleep. So I had to, had to actually stop using it to charge my phone and uh, went back to plugging my phone in. So um, yeah, I'll be returning it. I don't know if I'm gonna exchange it or get a refund. Right now I'm thinking refund and I'll just use the money for something else and go back to my former setup. I do like it. Um, if you're thinking about picking one of these up, I would definitely recommend it. I really do like it. But um, for the price I paid, 69 bucks, regular price is 99 bucks at the Apple Store. Um, I don't think it should make a buzzing noise. Um, and I think iHome should be a little bit better with their customer support, to be perfectly honest with you. But there you go, guys. That's pretty much going to do it for my review on the iHome IP9. Should you pick one up? Well, that's up to you. I'm going to leave that one up to you guys. Um, if it didn't make that buzzing noise, I would definitely keep it. It is very cool. I really do like it, but that buzzing noise is kind of killing it for me. And I'm not sure it would really help me out a whole lot to exchange it. They only had two at Walmart where I bought it, and I bought one of them. Chances are pretty good they've already sold the other one. So we'll see when I take it back. If they have one in stock, maybe I'll exchange it. I'm probably just going to get a refund, though, I'll be honest with you. And uh, go back to my regular setup from before, like I said. So. That's pretty much going to do it for the iHome IP9. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Rock on. It's Uncle Tone. I'm out.